All right, so let's say you wanted to make a mobile device frame that you could animate around that had beautiful rounded edges, transparency, that just looked super sweet and was easy to reuse over and over again. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this guy. Actually delete both of these guys and clean everything up in that project except for the screen recording that we're gonna use as an example. And we're gonna go ahead and start importing our footage. But first we're gonna pop over into Sketch and I'm just gonna explain a couple of things real quick. So this is just some vectors set up to look like an iPad Pro 11 inch. The important thing is that you want the screen area to always match the exact resolution of the video that you're gonna be bringing in. So iOS screen recordings, if you're recording on device for an iPad Pro, it's this odd resolution of 1920 by 1342. And then I've just gone through and exported each of these, a couple of groups and the screen map. Um, I've exported them as 1x, which means just that exact resolution in the PDF format. PDF because it's a vector and supports transparency. So I know I'm not going to have any uh, colors or anything around here interfering with the nice roundness and then also, uh, when I scale up and down, it's going to look uh, nice and crisp for me. So I've already done the export step. Back to Camtasia. I'm going to double click in the media bin. We're just going to go ahead and import in the assets. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we're just going to keep it really simple. So if I get to a bigger view here, you can see um, here's the actual buttons of the device. This is actually the screen or the frame and then this is the screen area with rounded corners that I'm going to use as a mat. I'll get into that in a second. So we'll go ahead and drag down the frame first of all. Just zoom in the timeline a little bit to give us a little extra room. And uh, first thing you notice this is not at 100%. We always want to build everything at 100%. Not 1,000, 100. And I'm going to have to adjust my project settings so I can have some visibility while I'm building this asset. So we'll just pop into 4K, apply, zoom out. Yep, got plenty of room there on the canvas, 100%. So then we're coming into and grabbing the screen uh, area. And if I lay this down right here, um, you can see... This is where my screen video will live. And what we're gonna do actually is it has rounded corners on it that matches the uh, dress of the iPad Pro. So we're gonna use this actually as a track mat. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, first come to the library. I've got some placeholders at the right size that I like to use. So um, 1920 by 1342, I know that's the resolution when I record on an iOS device. Uh, like with TechSmith Capture. So I'm going to drag that placeholder down in here. And that placeholder is, we'll check the dimensions just to make sure. Yep, 1920 by 1542. I'm going to trim that guy off. Um, right like that. So maybe make this a little bit longer just to give myself some room. And uh, yeah, 10 seconds seems like about a good time. So let's get it to 10. Okay, looking pretty good, except for notice I've got these placeholder sharp edges sticking out in the corners, right? So this is why we're going to use this guy right here as a mat that has rounded corners. So I'm going to go over to the visibility icon. I'm going to context click on it, and I'm going to choose an alpha track mat mode. Okay, so. Now you can see, if I zoom in here, we've got those nice, beautiful, rounded corners, right? So um, if I was taking this full nine yards, I'd go back to my media bin, and I'd go grab those buttons, and I'd position them on here. But for the purposes of this tutorial, and to keep it quick, we're not going to mess around with that. 
Um, real basic setup here. So what's the next step? Well, group it. Uh, turn that track mat mode off. Just, just so you know, the, when you group, if you had a track mat, the group gets brought along with you inside the group. And I'm going to rename this group. So I'm going to choose rename group. And we're going to call this uh, iPad Pro 11 dash inch. And at this point, I would add this to my library so that I could reuse it over and over again. So next up, let's take a look at how this thing performs. So um, we've got this guy. We're going to pop him open. We are going to scroll and find our screen footage, right? And we're going to drop it in on that placeholder. All right, it's a little bit longer, so I'm just going to go ahead and zoom back out on the timeline here. Select just these two tracks. And I'm going to bring them out to match the length of this guy. And what you'll have to do when you come back out on this one is, fortunately, the group doesn't grow on its own, so we'll open this up. Come out here. Playhead will stay in the same position right there, so I'm just going to trim this guy now. Bam, like so. And if we scroll back, we've got the nice device frame. So at this point, let's change your project resolution to what we would normally produce at, just 1080p HD. All right, and you can see now I've got this with perfect fidelity because we haven't scaled anything down. The screen's at the resolution. It expects to be the device frame is a vector. So we can do any animation we wanted. So we could go around and do things like add ourselves an animation, zoom in on the timeline. Make this guy a little bit longer. So like a second or so. And yep. I'm actually using this guy with my video properties here in the properties panel. I'm going to change my scale to something like uh, how about 80 and reposition on the canvas. It's maybe a little bit too big. Let's get down to 70. All right. Yep. Let's just check out how that looks. Notice rounded corners. Super cool uh, placeholder workflow. Yep. That allows me to, uh, to animate pretty much everything I want. And, uh, you know, it's on top of Video Black, but if I wanted to... I could uh, come in here and uh, let's say go to my favorites and drop something down behind it and play head over it. See how that transparency is preserved, etc. So that's how you make yourself a iPad screen frame in Camtasia 2020. Enjoy.